Hey there everybody, uh, this is Wasim from Pixelofy.com and in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create a chef's hat using Marvel's Designer. Uh, last week I had the pleasure to create this character uh, and uh, the client asked me to create uh, a chef's outfit for him and when we got when I got to the hat part uh, it was it would have been easy for me to go into Maya and create the cylinder and just extrude a couple of faces but I really wanted to create this using only Marvelous Designer so let's get into Marvelous Designer and see how we can create uh, the chef's hat all right so here is what you see when you open up Marvelous Designer for the first time and you're gonna have uh, in the 2D area, you're going to have the area where you draw the pattern, and on the 3D area, you're going to have the, you know, the avatar or your model. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new document, Control n and we can actually go into the avatar editor, and we can select any of these characters. And I think I'm going to go uh, with this dude. So, to start creating the chef's hat, and uh, if you look at these, it's just a simple cylinder. Uh, some of them are made of paper, and if you could see the Ratatouille one, I think some of them were actually made of cloth, uh, which maybe fancy chefs have have those. So I'll go ahead and create the cylinder, and then we can create the, the top part. So to start that, we can create the cylinder by just creating a simple polygon. All right. It will appear here automatically. We move that in front of his head. And then I can, I'll go ahead. We can actually go ahead and create this from one piece. But for me, it's easier if we made it from two pieces. So I'll go ahead and copy paste. And I'm going to rotate and move this guy to the back. All right, move this guy into place. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch these two parts. All right, so segment stitch this part with this part, this part with this part. And now, let's go ahead and simulate. And we should get this, which doesn't look good at all. I mean, how do you get this thing to stand up? All right, so I'm going to do undo. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure these guys is a bit smaller because I want... I'm going to do again, assimilate, it fits to the head better. But how do we make this stand straight on his head? I'm going to move this a bit down. To do that, we'll need to select the two patterns, go under 3D Garment, and there is something called Strengthen. All right, so when we press that, this is what happens. The material now is acting as a strong material and you can actually tweak it but this one has its own limit as well because you can't go too crazy with it because the weight of the material will make it fall you know but you can actually do pretty awesome stuff with it so now let's go ahead and tweak it so i'm going to tweak the size and i think something like this is perfect all right so now for the for the sec for the adding the stripes or the folds and from this research that i've done there are actually two types of folds you can actually you can either have these folds or these types of folds and i'm going to actually show you how to to do both of them so to do these stripes going to go ahead and create a couple of polygons like this and let's see how many fit inside here so control v control v I'm just doing a regular copy paste, nothing too, nothing too fancy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten sounds sounds pretty good. 
So what I'm going to do, so we don't have, we don't do a lot of guesswork, I'm going to select the bottom or the top one, it doesn't matter, and do a split. And I'm going to do uniform split. And I want 10 segments, so I'll do 11 here. So I know 10 will fit inside. Might have to do it again because it's, sometimes it might act up a bit. So 10 and OK. So now, when I select this, I'll just when I create this, I'll just make sure like each one is sitting on that dot. Control C, Control V. Before I do that, is I want to add a stitching line to this guy so I don't have to do the work on, on all of them. So to do that, what I want to do now is I want to stitch this stripe to that hat. To do that, we need to create what we, what we call in, what it's called in the Marvelous Designer, an interior line, an inner line. And we can segment to this part to this part. So this this segment, this line to this line, like this. And it's going to sit on that automatically. This is what hap if this is what happens if you don't put the uh, part that you want to simulate next to the uh, next to the main model because it the simulation speed the gravity is gonna just you know ruin the model that you're working on. So I'm gonna stop the simulation undo that and to make sure this doesn't happen I'm just gonna move it really close you know and just hit space and this is what we get. And we have one stripe attached to it. So we have to do that like 10 times uh, all around, right? But instead of attaching this to the to the edge, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a line inside of it. And you'll see in a minute why I'm doing that, because it's going to give me a bit of more control. So now... Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and add him to these dots. Again, I'm just doing control C, control V. Right, and now we're gonna do the same. Control C, control V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to move this so they are not overlapping. And as I showed you before, just make sure these guys are as close as possible to the place where they are going to sit in the final simulation. The other thing you can do if you don't want the hat, if you're happy with the shape of the hat and you want nothing happening to it, you can select it, right click and do something called freeze. And now when we do, when we start stitching these guys, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch these guys to these lines. So we do segment two, one, two, three. Four. And as you can see, I'm sewing the stitching the inside line and not the the edge of that polygon because I want more control to this. And I'm just gonna delete this one. Now if I simulate, this is what we are going to get. Now you might need to go in and tweak this a bit. 
and you can stop the simulation, move these out of it, and you know, simulate them again. They will pop into their place. Once we start adding more density to this, is it's gonna make it's just gonna make more sense. Okay. So flip that. Move that in. Also, what you can do is you can select this and you can say uh, flip normal. Okay, so flip normal again. Flip normal again. Flip normal. And you can move this guy. I'm just going to move this guy outside. This helps, you know, with the, just rotate it a bit and let it simulate again. Again, do that. All right, so once we have this, we can go ahead and do the front part as well, the same thing. So I'm going to pause the video, do that, and we'll get back to creating the, the bottom part. All right, now that we have the front and the back part of the chef's hat with all the uh, straps on it, uh, let's go ahead and create the bottom fold that will sit on top of the straps. And to do that, we'll go, go ahead and select these two guys, copy and paste, move them down. Then I'm going to move these guys to the top. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all the lines inside. We'll do the same to the to the back part. And you can leave them, but just just so we we have a cleaner geometry. All right, now you can go ahead and delete the top points. I'm going to make these a bit wider, just a bit, and, you know, smaller in size. You can always adjust the, the height of it. And I'm going to go ahead and segment stitch this to this part, and this part to this part. And then I'm going to make sure everything is good, and one thing is unfreeze these. Go ahead. All right, so you might get this error here. And to fix that, just select the two parts and then go into the property editor and just put layer two, and that will fix it. I'll just overlay, overlap that on top. You might have a bit of craziness happening with the straps. So if you do, just select the straps and put them on layer one. So you'll have the base on layer zero, the, the straps on layer one, or the folds on layer one, and then the big fold on layer two. And now, it should look just perfect. And again, you can go in and you can adjust the, the height of this to your to your liking. All right, so this is, the, this is what I'm telling you about the two types. So you have this type of straps, or folds. So if you look at it like this, you can you can go all around. But let's say if you want the folds to happen like this, what you do, which is pretty simple, you just select the lines, the inner lines that we added to the shapes, and just move them to the middle. That's it. Now if you look to the back and you simulate this is what we get. We get that nice, nice effect. So now let's go ahead and export. I'm gonna go ahead and export this into, into ZBrush. Before you export anything into ZBrush, just make sure nothing is overlapping. We're gonna because we're gonna use this UV map 
to create our poly groups in ZBrush, right? So just make sure nothing is overlapping, right? So once made sure, uh, we'll go ahead and raise the density of this, maybe like, I don't know, five. It's not that important, not that crucial. And once we're happy, you can select this, go export, OBJ selected, so it doesn't uh, export the avatar as well. And we're going to go chef, hat, export. Make sure everything is welded and make sure it is thin. I don't want to add thickness to this. Also, before, before, yeah, before we finish this, just go ahead and... quadrangulate this one so we don't have triangular uh, shapes just this is easier we might we, you will need to do a z remesh or a topology depending on uh what do you need this uh for your project but it, it really helps and it adds a lot of detail to it so let's go file export obj selected and let's go chef hat save Weld, millimeter, single object, all right, and let's just go OK. Now let's open up ZBrush. And let's import the chef's hat here. So import, desktop, chef hat. And here it is. Here's the chef hats. It might look a bit weird because then, because we have to go into display properties and put double on because we don't have any thickness. I'm just going to go ahead and turn perspective off and I'm going to rotate this. Now, if we look at the polygroups, you're going to see we're going to have only one polygroup. But we can easily fix that. Go into polygroups, go auto group with UV, and each one will have its own polygroup. What I usually do is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I know I know these parts, I want them at one piece. I'm just going to go auto group. Uh, interior parts as well. Auto group. And I want the the top, uh, you know, stripes to be on their own because I want to add. Uh, I might need to add thickness to them a bit later. You can go ahead and, you know, add subdivisions to these. And this is how you create a chef hat. If you want to learn more about Marvelous, uh, make sure you check out Pixelofy.com. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook, and because we're uh, we're about to launch a new Marvelous uh, course. And I would hate for you guys to miss out on that one. And I'll keep you posted. I really hope you find this uh, helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Here's Wasim uh, from Pixelofy.com. Uh, wishing you a lovely day. See ya.